What is up guys? Today we're talking mixing and mastering. I'm gonna open up a project that I was working on earlier and we're just gonna start mixing it. I'm gonna show you the whole process I go through every step of the way. Let's get it. So I got a project open up. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step what I do to mix and master uh, this beat. Shout out to Internet Money, specifically Boy Band, cause I watched one of his tutorials and he used this method and I've been using it ever since. And honestly guys, you can mix and master a beat in literally like five minutes. It doesn't take long at all. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And it's with this thing called pink noise or white noise. If you ever heard of it, it sounds like uh, when your TV is on no channel at all and there's just a static playing and what it does is when you play it it's covering every frequency of sound at once so what that allows you to do is it gives you a reference point for all the volumes in your mix another thing that you want to uh, take into consideration is a lot of people say it's better to mix in mono i'll show you guys exactly how to mix in mono as well because i usually do that but um yeah, let's just get right into it, guys. All right, guys, so I got my project here. I'll let you guys listen to the beat. I haven't mixed anything. I haven't touched anything. Uh, the only thing I did was I cut out the low end on my melodies. So I cut out the lows on my melodies with the EQ, just like low cuts. I didn't do anything crazy. I just took out the low end to make room for the bass. So, all right, I'll let you guys listen to it. Now, what I'm gonna do is, so I don't break your guys' ears, is I'm gonna turn down the volume inside of Fruity Loops. So you guys, I'm gonna show you guys what this pink noise sounds like. I'll leave a link to the pink noise down in the description below so you guys can just download it for free. And uh, yeah, so this is what the noise sounds like. Oh, sorry. So what you want to do is you want to bring that noise to a level that you're comfortable with for uh, mastering. I used I usually like to leave it around negative six or negative three. So I'm just gonna bring up that pink noise till it hits one of those values. I'm gonna leave it somewhere in the middle. Now what you want to do once you have the sound playing is go through every single one of your instruments and you wanna level them while that sound is playing and you just wanna hear it slightly. Once you hear it just a little bit on top of the noise, that's it, leave the volume where it's at. So you don't wanna be able to hear it too loud, but you wanna be able to hear it very faintly. So I'll show you guys what it sounds like. Sorry, also what you should do is be mixing this in mono. I forgot to uh, change the channel to mono. So what you wanna do is grab this knob on your master and just uh, turn it all the way uh, to the right. When you mix in mono, it's almost like your entire mix is coming out of one speaker. So it's not like having a louder volume on one side and a, and a lower volume on one side. So it's even, it, it'll sound the same coming out of both sides of the speaker, so.
Yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to let you guys listen to what the mix sounds like now, and you should be able to tell a big difference already. Let's just turn this up. The 808 and the kick I like to do on my own just because I don't like to use that method for the 808 and kick really. Another thing for uh, the mixing process, you should put your kicks, well a lot of the times I put my kicks completely in mono and also my 808, I, I leave it completely mono. And yeah, on the master all I have is a fruity soft clipper. And uh, yeah, once you get your beat sounding like this, Another trick I like to do, so right now, let's see where we're peaking at the volume. Let's see how far we peak at. All right, this is another technique I like to use. It's a uh, Maximus from Fruity Loops is a very good way of bringing up all the volume at once after you've mixed and everything. So what I like to do is just open up a Maximus, go into the presets and click Master Aid. Any one of these are pretty good. I like using Master Aid. You can see what that did right away. I'll play it without it. inside of Maximus you're not cutting off too much of that waveform because your beat will start sounding more compressed you don't want it to sound compressed because it takes away a lot from the beat so just keep that in mind you don't want to see too many peaks on top of this uh, on top of this uh, line here Another thing I like to do is grab a limiter, put it on your uh, your 808, and then side chain with your kick. So click on the channel of your kick, and you're gonna want to click on the arrow of your 808 right here. Turn that knob all the way to the left, and now they are side chained together. Now you open up your limiter. You want to open up the compression tab. Open up compress. Change your side chain to one, turn all of these knobs down. I like to change my ratio. You can see on the top left corner there what I'm changing it at. I like to leave it at two to one. Put the knee all the way up and then you just want to play with your threshold till you get something that you like. I'll show you guys exactly what it's going to sound like. So what this compressor is doing is every time the kick hits, it's lowering the volume of the 808. So it's leaving more room for the kick. The kick punches through the mix, the mix clearer. And yeah, you can just play around with this knob now and, until you find something you like. So I'll show you at it, what it sounds like when it's extreme compression. just gives your kicks a little more punchiness and a little more room inside of the track and yeah let's have a listen to this track now Alright guys, I showed you the mixing tutorial, I showed you the tricks, 
Shout out to Boy Band once again for showing me this. Now, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, show your love. If you guys want any custom tees or hoodies, let me know, hit me up, because we do it all here. You can put your name on the hood, whatever you guys want, please. Hit me up, everyone. I love you. Thank you for watching. Peace.